Hey guys, my name is Cooper and I am uh, hot, sweaty, and tired building a race car motor. Um, I don't know if I would, I wouldn't call it building. I am dressing the motor. So, got the engine back from induction yesterday, uh, tossed it in the shop. It's sitting here on these nice induction stands. I mean, look at that. Ooh. So if you order an induction motor, you get those beautiful stands. And now I just have to um, take all those parts, put it onto here, put the engine in the car, start the car, drive the car, race the car. It sounds so simple when I lay it out like that, but like, I'll be honest, there's actually a lot more that has to go into it before it starts and drives and runs and all that cool stuff. But um, we don't really need to talk about all that. We'll just talk about the cool stuff of it, like running and driving, right? Yeah. Agree with me, come on. But aside from that, I am just um, taking the parts off the shelf. I bagged everything, so everything should be pretty well, um, pretty well organized, as long as I can remember where the bolts go. Shout out to Toyota. These hooks are super convenient. All right, guys, before this video gets started, I wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this video. It is you guys. So I don't have a main sponsor for this video, but Let's talk about t-shirts. So, I have quite a few available. We got our new, untested, over budget, and out of time, which is um, perfect for this project. Then we got the Camaro shirt, we got a bunch left in stock, and then we have some of the 2JZ head gasket uh, Cooper shirts left in stock. So, hop onto the website, cooperbogetti.com. We got shirts, I'll ship them out as soon as I get the order. Now. Thanks for watching, back to the video. Putting the uh, rear plate back on here, so this is the rear plate that is a 2JZ Chevy adapter plate. So you basically just put this onto the engine. Like, kinda like that. The pins on there, and then you bolt this on, and then this adapts to the power glide. So this is made by ATF Speed who builds my transmissions, and then they make these transmission adapters as well, and then it bolts to the car right here. I have the rear plates in, and then the front plate goes to the front. So, super simple, only a few bolts, and then this thing is ready to go. All right, well, here we are. So it is 90% dressed to go in. I am just waiting on a couple bolts for the manifold, and then I can tighten the manifold up. That's the only thing holding me up from dropping this in right now. Other than that, like the cooling line is on right here. This is where the coolant goes. Got my my fuel pump on in the front and then the fuel filter down there. And then it goes up and hooks into the back of the rail right here. I put the starter on. I ended up putting the uh, flex plate on. Manifold is on and tight. The fuel rail uh, stands are on. Um, front plate and really just now it's just time to drop it in as soon as I get that manifold tightened should be a couple hours from now so <sighs> patiently waiting for delivery all right well let's get this thing in here um, very very big pain in the ass to get the hood off so we're just gonna leave it on you can kind of push it up a little bit and then time to drop it in just gotta mount four bolts. That's all we need. You guys can, you guys can watch along.
All right, well, the engine is in. Look at that. It just needs to be finished. I'm not gonna say it just needs because it needs a lot. I have to put back the cooling system. I gotta put back the turbo oiling system, the turbo, the waste gates, the transmission, the wiring, the injectors, the fuel rail, the charge pipe, the exhaust, the injectors, the spark plugs, the oil, the fuel lines. There's a lot left to do. This shelf right here, it's uh, dwindling down though. It's actually getting significantly smaller. So just gotta keep on putting the Lego set that doesn't have any directions back together. And before you know it, you got a running car. Well, I will have a running car. You guys will have the privilege of hearing the best sounding engine ever put on this earth. The 2JZ. Don't at me. So that's where we're at. I gotta move the Mustang in the rest of the way because it's raining and I can't close the door. Oh, and the AC's not on, it's just the fan, so don't mind that. I know, it's getting dust. I probably should cover this. My AC is out of Freon for some reason, it all leaked out. So, having all kinds of AC issues, no Freon in this unit, unfortunately. So, tough break, but it is what it is. Time to keep working on this engine. Well, that is my stopping point for this evening. I got the fuel system pretty much wrapped up, cooling system wrapped up, some of the charge pipes started, throttle cable, wiring, alternator, belt, oiling system, you name it. I mean, we've, I'm ahead of the curve already on this. Like, there's so much already, already almost done that I am just super pumped. I mean, we are getting so close now. It, it could literally start tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I will be quite there yet. There's a couple things I wanna do. I wanna bring my injectors and get them flow tested before I put them in. But other than that, that's about it. I am beat, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I have accomplished a huge amount today. Engine in, um, hopefully the transmission will be in and the drive shaft and all that stuff tomorrow. And then we can uh, start turning this thing over so that we get some oil pressure, make sure that we have good oil pressure. We can start the uh, basic start up there. So I'm tired, but see you guys in the morning. All right, I am just here cranking away. Got my headlamp on. These are pretty nice when you're doing stuff like this where you're kind of looking up in between little areas here, just trying to clean up all the wire and clean up all the vacuum lines. All that minor little good stuff that just takes time. Put the fuel, put the oil filter on. Just cranking away one thing after another and before you know it, it's running. So not too far, honestly. Um, need to put the turbo on, charge pipe. We are freaking cranking, guys. I am so pumped. We are getting so close. Fingers crossed because we are close. All right, guys, back with another update. Just been cranking along. I am sweating through this shirt. This is like my fifth shirt in a day and a half of working on this thing. And we're cranking along. So lower charge pipe is on, turbo is on. Um, I don't know if I even showed that. Transmission is back in. Just gotta put the converter bolts in and then put the drive shaft on. And then we're good back here. That's an easy one. Next up, I got to go back up and um, put some fluids in this thing. I gotta put trans fluid in it, um, oil in it, and that's in uh, coolant in it. Probably check the fuel level too. But other than that, we're pretty far along down here. Not a whole lot more left to do. And then run this thing through a little startup procedure. Make sure it's got oil pressure the whole nine. But not too bad, not too bad. It's definitely hot in uh, Florida right now, but it, it's good. They say um, spending time in a sauna is uh, good for your health. So I'm just chalking it up as spending time in the sauna. And I kind of like it, you know, you sweat just profusely and it feels good after, it really does. So time to keep plucking along on this thing. Um, one more fuel line left. The exhaust is a little tough because 
have all that new titanium stuff. So got to figure out how getting that on there. Um, who's going to help me and give me the assistance to do the titanium. But that's next on the list. So, so I guess let's get the drive shaft on. Might as well. Okay, now the transmission is fully in. All the bolts are in and tight. Shifter is in and it should be set, but I have to check it up top, of course. Converter is in and tight. Um, all the bolts are in. Drive shaft is in. Time to go back down and finish up the top. Put these injectors in. Uh, vacuum lines and see if this thing starts up. It's scary that it's already there. Well put oil in it, put transmission fluid in it, and then um, run it dry a little bit without the injectors turned, without the injectors plugged in, and then see if that, um, just to get oil pressure going, check the oil pressure, and that's the startup procedure. Nothing too crazy, so. All right, I'm gonna go sit down for a minute. Okay, I put the piece of the exhaust on just so we have the, um, so we have a little bit of exhaust for obvious reasons and the O2 sensor, and then, trying to hopefully get this in there maybe maybe it'll stay put some oil in it doesn't have spark plugs the injectors aren't plugged in oil trans fluid and it's ready to crank see if we get some oil pressure and then um maybe put some spark plugs in it and see if it starts i don't have the vacuum lines all finished because they're not necessary for just startup it will run without the vacuum lines all set but Everything else should be good. Let's give it a try, I guess. So I'm gonna have to crank it a little bit. Hopefully the battery's got some power and then put everything in and go. See a couple fuel leaks, which pretty expected. All right, I gotta put a battery charger on this thing. All right, the only thing that it doesn't have in it is coolant, but we can start it up without coolant in it and let it run for just a second. Make sure that it at least runs and idles-ish. It won't get too hot too quickly. But um, basically, I just wanna check for fuel leaks, oil leaks, make sure it has spark and all that good stuff before we go too, too far, I guess. The only thing stopping us from driving it right now is coolant and put the wheels and tires on if it starts right here. So hard to say, but I think I think she'll start up. I got faith. I got faith in old girl. I know her, I know this car pretty well. My shirt's drenched in perspiration right now. All right, if it catches on fire or spraying fuel or fluid somewhere, I would love for you guys to tell me, but I don't think you will. Start up, take one.
It started, but I saw fuel spraying. Gosh dang it. I think it's the seal on the fuel pump. Well, she's ripping nicely, idling, and then all of a sudden from like back here behind the fuel pump, it starts spraying out fuel. So this is a mechanical fuel pump, and I guess I'll just pop it off and see if there's an issue somewhere in the ceiling of it, of any kind. But dang it, it started. She freaking runs. So that's her only holdup. Um, you know, get that off, I guess, and see what the deal is with the seals. But other than that, that should be a pretty simple deal. I'm sure a rebuild kit is pretty available or just send this one in and have it rebuilt. Or who knows? I mean, it could just be because it sat with ethanol in it for so long it dried out the seals. Super, super likely. Um, next, I'm probably gonna, while that's apart and dealing with that, I can uh, get my injectors flow tested real quick. Uh, somewhere local should be able to do it. But other than that, that's it guys, it runs. And we're doing titanium exhaust, so while I have um, that stuff dealing with, the exhaust can get dealt with, but man, she runs again. I'm so pumped. Oh, that's a big relief, it sounds healthy. It ran good. Nothing more I can ask for, so gigantic, endless thank you to the guys over at Induction Performance. This, when I say, we would not be where we are without them. I truly mean we will not, we would not be here without them. There is just 0% chance that this car, me racing, any of that would happen without induction performance. So endless thank you to them. Go check out some of their stuff on the website that they have for sale, all kinds of good stuff. Guys, that's gonna do it. I am dying. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it saucy, I'll see you next time.